Hey guys, me and Terry Springer, and I'm doing a review of Last Hero Standing, the MG2 crossover. So, enjoy the show. Okay, um, Last Hero Standing um, is the MG2 crossover that came out in 2005. And well, it basically tells the story of what has happened to Spider Man, the thing, the Scarlet Witch, Captain America, and the rest of the Marvel Universe heavy hitters. Spider Girl, the United Five, and Anax must join. Must join forces with today's superstars to uncover the answer, and the trail leads to a major abandoned villain. Does the present and the watchers signify the end of the Age of Heroes? Um, this this trip here corrects the first five the five issue miniseries by the Spider Girl team team of writer Tom DeFalco and all of Pat all of Um, anyway. This story, in my opinion, I think is one of my all time favorite MC2 crossover because it features Mary Parker, again, Spider Girl, who my, one of my all time favorite characters, um, Captain America, the original Captain America, American Dream, Wolverine, he's in the story too, um, but again, actually, all the MC2 characters, like, actually, in this universe, um, join actually this one actually big crossover event. Well, it's not a crossover event, there are Titans, but this story was amazing. I mean, holy shit, like, this, this, in my opinion, one of my favorite crossover. You could, it's Tony DeFalco, obviously, and he wrote this story beautifully. Because, I love Spider Girl's world, aka Mandy Parker, like, she's one of my favorite characters, and to see the entire MC2 universe combine into, right, into one team to fight this common enemy, it's awesome. Um, artwork by, um, Pat. Arby is beautiful. Like I love the art in, in the story. Like this, the writing's great. The story's great. All the characters are great. And um, plus, here's the answer. MC2 fan, like I am, this story's amazing actually because you you get you, you get to see at the um, but you get all your favorite heroes like um, Mega Dream, J2, the Thing, Spider Girl, Mandy Parker, Doctor Magnus, Doctor Strange, Spider Man. A.K.P. Barker, he's in the story too, which is awesome. And well, oh, oh, and but I think it's the Hulk, he's in it too. Um, I'm gonna talk about getting too much spoilers. Art was great, story great, writing is great. Um, basically, um, also, um, did actually he actually surprise actually killed the can in the story, which I know the story old, so you know what I'm going like four, four is in this too. And that's awesome. Um. Now, if you've seen the Avengers movie, and you know what the ma Avengers made villains, then you probably know who it is, but I, 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 won't, I won't ruin that for you, because I do recommend you all read this book. Plus, I know some other crossover that happened, Secret Wars, <laughs> which was bad. Okay, that's not true, that's not bad, we have one of the issues left, but that's still been dragging since issue 8. But that doesn't, that doesn't even talk about it today. But, um, also, our crossover events have no consequences. This has consequences. Which makes me happy. And, at the end of this five issue miniseries, um, we get to see the Reaper Cut on, on, on the series. I don't know what series came out after I was standing. But, but, um, my, my best guess, they're probably the fucking Inspired with series. If not, then the part of fucking nerds here. Um, I do know there's a sequel to this comic. Um, called Last Planet Standing. Which, Last Planet Standing, I heard was not that great. But, you know what? Yeah. Eff it. Um, it can't be that bad. Anyways, um, what was great story, great characters are great. Um, oh! I always forgot! Um, uh, uh, um, also, you know, the opinions of this story, I think, is, um, well, Mary Jane, she, she's in the story too, obviously, and that's great. Like, she, she's written well too. All the characters are written great in, in the story, no one beat our character. Because he's born for me, because frankly, frankly, I know, the Marvel doing Spidey in combinatory. But this is not Spider Man, this is a event, um, anyways. Final thoughts. I can't tell what's going on to spoil it, I won't do this to you guys, but I do recommend getting this, um, Final Boss. I give Last Hero Standing a 
5 out of 5. Perfection. A plus. Mostly because it's your friend MC2 Universe like I am. I can me get this book. And, and plus, I think it's, it's your Spider-Girl fan. I, I do when I do you get this book as well because it actually ha had a few Looper Cousins in Spider-Girl, which is a huge bonus. Um, and in my opinion, actually, he did, it's one of my favorite my crossover story I ever read. And I recommend it. Um, okay. That's my review of Last Hero Standing by Tom DeBerger uh, Um, Please comment down, please comment down below and tell you think about the story. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Also, a good feature page, follow me on Twitter, and please subscribe to my channel. Oh, before I forget, um, long live the MC2 universe. And, well, and, and Spider Girl. Ready to park I hope to see you again in the future. Anyway, um, yeah. Bye.